In this Unity tutorial I will show you how to make this scene transition where it fades black and goes to another scene. So let's get started. So right here I have two scenes. I have scene A right here and scene B right here. So this is scene A we're in and if I go to scene B it looks like this. It just has a 3D object and a different background color. But to create this fading we need an image to cover this with darkness. So go to your first scene and right click. Then go to UI and choose an image. This will create a canvas and an image and an event system. But if you already have a canvas, you can just create the image under the canvas. Then we'll go to scene view and double click on our canvas. And then we'll set it to 2D mode up here. So we now can see the canvas. Then we'll click on our image and call it fader image. Then I'll click on the anchors right here. Hold shift and click here and set all of these to zero. And now the image fills out the entire canvas and I'll set it to black and I'll just set the alpha to zero. Now let's create the script which handles the transition. So right click in our assets, go to create and do mono behavior script. I will call it scene fader, open that up. In here I'll delete the start and update function for now and I'll add a few libraries. So I'll add the library unity engine.ui and I'll add using unity engine.scene management and I'll add system.collections. Now we need a reference for the image. So I'll do public image called image. Then I'll create a public function, a public void fade and load, I can call it. And this will take in a string for the scene name and a float duration. But all this is gonna do is start a coroutine. So we can create the coroutine right under. So we're gonna do I enumerator, which is a coroutine, and I'll call it fader which also takes in a string, scene name and a duration. Then we'll create a variable float t and we'll set it to zero. We'll create a color c and set it to the image.color. Then we'll add a while loop and this is where we're gonna fade to black. In here we'll just add t should be less than the duration. And in here we'll do t plus equals time.delta time. Then we'll do c.a, so the color alpha value will be equal to t divided by duration and the image.color will then be set to c again and then we'll yield return null. So we basically wait one frame right here. And lastly under all of that we'll do scene manager that load scene and we'll add scene name in here. So we basically fade to black and then we load the scene. And up here we'll start the coroutine so we'll do start coroutine and we'll input fader which has the inputs of scene name and duration. Then we also need a fade out, so we'll do another I enumerator called fade out, where we'll almost do the same thing as right here. So let's just copy that. And here we're not gonna use a duration, I'll just set it to one. But basically the only thing we're gonna change is right here. We'll instead do one F minus parentheses T divided by one F. That's all we need for the fade out. Now we need a update function where we can activate this fader so we can change between the scenes. Here I'll simply do an if statement input dot get key down where I'll get key code dot a. We can say it's a for, for scene a. Well, I'll simply call this function. So I'll need to input the scene name, which will be scene a, which I called it. And the duration, I'll just set that to one. Then we also need scene B, so I'll do if again. This time I will do B and I'll do scene B. Then the last thing we need is a start function and I'll create this in the top, which will activate this fade out in the beginning. So I'll do start coroutine and I'll take this and input it right in here, like so. And that's all the code there is. So now go back into Unity. In here we'll click on our fader image and drag the scene fader script onto the object. Then it needs the reference for the image, so I'll drag the image onto the reference. Now we have all this in scene A, but we also need it in scene B, so I'll just select all of it, copy it, go to scene B, click over here, and control V. So now we have it over here too. And let's save and go back to scene A. The last thing we need to do is go to file, go to build profiles, and we'll drag in scene A and scene B. So you need to have your scenes in here inside of the scene list. It might open from Windows right here, so just click on scene list right here. Now close that down and let's click play. And when I click on B, 
it loads scene B, and when I click on A, it loads scene A. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe.